Okay, so before we jump right into the video, I want to say one thing and one thing only. There's a new NVIDIA driver out, and it's absolutely amazing. You actually can install it right now uh, if you're on Fedora. Uh, there's some issues with it. I don't recommend it because uh, it's not remembering uh, NVIDIA DRM mod set, mode set equals one, which is a problem. So if you end up using it, you're going to need that. The guide on Discord does apply. This is a final driver. This is a production branch. This replaces 555 so or 550. One of the two. Anyway, I'm running it on Cache OS and Fedora 40 and Nabora 41, and it works great. So there you go. Now, this program is called LACT. And uh, oops. This allows you to overclock your NVIDIA GPU. It currently just updated. And we're going to just zoom in so you can see this. So updated clock speed configuration on the NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, clock speeds are now configurable per state, per P state, and displayed as offset value. Note, existing clock speed settings will get reset to default. Lack now detects GPU device changes automatically picking up uh, added or removed devices without requiring a service restart. Uh, well, this is not a very common scenario. Uh, it's useful for certain cases such as reloading the driver or dynamically reattaching a GPU. So good. Minor info, uh, info reporting improvements such as showing resizable bar on NVIDIA and Intel. I need to check that one. Custom P states are now applied only when actually configured in the UI. Uh, so this helps with some RDNA stuff because, you know, and AMD has just endless regressions when it comes to weird power management and stuff on their GPUs but they're fixing it, so that's great. So the graph window no longer causes system lag on some setups. Process and game mode listeners are fixed. And here you go. So there's everything. There's a bunch of bug fixes, refactoring, documentation, power profiles, daemon to readme, and uh, added note about official arch packages. They have official arch packages. And yeah, bump fedora specs, so... There's all the packages you can go and install. And I want to show you something. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all the options that you have. VRAM, uh, GPU. There's just so many overwhelming options. Honestly, I don't know all the half of whatever these do. But all I'm saying is this is pretty cool that they have all this. All right. And uh, you have to click this button to make it happen. But there you go. The individual P states can now be messed with. Information. Where's rebar? Rebar is currently enabled, so that is true. Uh, VRAM size is 12 gigs, and CPU accessible VRAM is 16 gigs. That is correct. Uh, Vulkan version, driver version. As you can see, I'm on the new driver version over here. You can't see that because of my head, can you? <sighs> there you go. All right, I'm going to move down here now. I'm now the floating head on the bottom. Again, there you go. That's the information I just mentioned. My, my GPU is a gigabyte GPU. So uh, that's pretty cool. That actually is very cool. And I'm glad that this is a thing. So I just wanted to update you really quick on this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I subscribe and all that stuff. It helps. You'll find this in the description below, by the way.